This is Stephen, and this question is dealing with your knowledge of multiplying binomials together, also known as FOIL, first, outer, inner, last. The question reads, if m is a positive integer and x plus 7 squared equals x squared plus mx plus 49, what is the value of m? Ultimately, it's testing whether you understand if one side is equal to another, that means that they're going to have similarities where the values are going to be placed. So the nice thing is, is that this side of the equation, the x squared plus mx plus 49, is about as simplified as it's going to get. We don't really need to do anything with it. But we can do something with the left-hand side, the x plus 7 squared. So let's go ahead and write that out. So x plus 7 squared can also be written as x plus 7 times x plus 7. And it's important to write this out so that we can do our operations with FOIL. Okay, so let's start with first. So first are the two x's, are the two first um, values in this expression. So multiplying those two together, x times x is equal to x squared, okay? Then we do our outers, which refer to this value again, and this value here, the x and the seven. So let's multiply those two, seven x. Then we have our inners, which refer to this seven here, and now this x here. So x times seven, also seven x. And then our lasts, so the seven and the seven, or the two constants. So seven times seven is equal to 49. Now once we've multiplied all those together, then we add them all up. So x squared plus seven x, plus 7x plus 49. Now we can't do anything else with the x squared or the 49, but we can simplify these two values or add them together to get 14x. So our new equation on the left-hand side, let's clear this all up, is x squared plus 14x plus 49. Now, we set this equal to the right-hand side, so now we can start looking at it. x squared plus mx plus 49. Now, because this is a balanced equation, this x squared is the same thing as this x squared. This plus 49 is the same thing as this plus 49. So this 14x versus this mx, we have the x here and the x here. So that means that this 14 is the same thing as this m. So if that's the case, our answer choice is b, 14. Now, another way that you can figure this out is just by getting rid of values until you just have the m left. So we can subtract x squared to both sides. Those cancel out. We can subtract 49, 49 to both sides. Those cancel out. And then we're left with 14x is equal to mx. Then we can divide by x to both sides. And we're left with 14 is equal to m. 